forgiveness. I know you hate this world, maybe because people just can't stop offending you and you feel that you are forgiven enough and you're done with it. Some other people hate this world because they have to say sorry every time and their ego won't just let them to say another sorry. Well, forgiveness is the foundation of every true meaningful relationship. What makes relationship deep and true is forgiveness. We are social beings and we are bound to relate. When we relate, there must be clutches because we are different in so many ways. You won't be able to live without hurting people and people as well cannot live without hurting you. There would have been no problem if you were to live on the surface alone. Escaping from forgiveness is to stop living. I bet you don't want to die just yet. It's only after death that we can't talk about forgiveness. Even God won't forgive you after death. To forgive is to let go when someone hurts us. To say sorry when we hurt someone is what makes relationship profound and meaningful. Living on this surface is all about interacting and relating with God, with people, with animals and other natural futures. To live well is to relate well. To relate well is the willingness to tolerate and forgive when someone hurt us and to say sorry when we hurt someone. Peace is not the absence of violence and hate. You have to choose to live in peace. Blessed are peacemakers. When you say sorry, it doesn't just mean that you are wrong. It means that you value the relationship more than just being right. If you cannot say sorry when you are wrong, I tell you you will regret it and you will be sorry one day. You have to choose what you want, being right or showing love to others. And if you choose showing love to others, sometimes you have to say sorry even when you are right. If being right is what matters to you, then say sorry because saying sorry is not wrong. And that is what making peace is all about. If you want peace, you must seek it, being willing to bend even when you don't have to. Forgiveness is not forgetfulness. The human brain is actually built to recall after a very long time. But when you forgive someone, never use what happened against them in the future. Because love will cover a multitude of sins and you choose the path of love. To make your days beautiful on this surface, love and forgive others. Even if you have to forgive always, keep doing it. Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 22 says you should do it 70 times 7. What is your measure of love for someone? I tell you, if your measure of love for someone is that good, you won't have a problem forgiving them because love and forgiveness works together. Forgiveness heals. Forgiveness saves. Forgiveness secures. Forgiveness is a medicine that we all need, but they don't sell it in the market. We are the producers of forgiveness because we are the consumers of forgiveness and love as well. If you were to count your offenses towards other people, I tell you they will be numerous. We have offended people so many times. We have offended God too. We have to forgive other people in order to be forgiven. We do not just need forgiveness from people, we need forgiveness from God as well. And sometimes we need forgiveness from ourselves because we have to forgive ourselves sometimes for doing some very wrong things. People commit suicide not just because they are failed or they feel that there is no hope, but because sometimes they can't just forgive themselves. Example, Judas Iscariot, he couldn't forgive himself over betraying the master. I'm just saying, sometimes you have to forgive yourself. I just want to tell you that God loves you and you have to love him back. But you cannot love him without loving the people that you see. And if you want to love God, you must first love the people that you see. That way you can be able to love God better. And I want to tell you, as you will learn to forgive other people and to love other people, God has plans for you. He is going to take you to places that you would have never imagined. God bless you. Oh, wait. And one thing. Did I tell you that you should as well learn to say sorry when you have to?
Thank you for watching up to this point. I hope those words did mean something to you. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we post videos on Mondays, you will get notifications. Also follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. And do well to comment because I would really like to read your comments on these videos. Thank you. See you next time.